Hi, I'm Devon. And I'm Ladeja. And today, we want to continue our exploration of the origins of the law in our society. This is the second in a series of short videos designed to teach and educate students about the law and where our system of law comes from. In our last video, we learned that the basis for our present system of laws comes from many sources, but the four documents we will be discussing are the Bible, the Magna Carta, the Declaration of Independence, and of course, the Constitution of the United States. Today we will look at the impact of the Bible on present day law. The Bible has been with us for more than 2,000 years and contains many references about law and gives us many of the legal terms we use today. Of course, we all know that the Bible tells of Moses receiving the Ten Commandments from God. Many of these commandments are still contained within the system of laws we have today. The commandments such as, Thou shalt not kill and thou shalt not steal, are both found among the are both found among laws of nearly every civilized country in the world. The Bible also mentions some legal procedures that are still in use today. Deuteronomy 25:1 says, "When people have a dispute, they are to take they are to take it to court." And the judges will decide the case. In fact, in the Bible, the word judge is used 138 times and the term court 84 times. Really? I didn't know that. So you can easily see that many of the laws and expectations we have today come from the Bible. Next time, we will explore an old English document called the Magna Carta and see how that document has help mold the system of laws we live under today. I'm Devon. And I'm Ladeja. And, and that's, that's the law. law.